I just received a shipment of uh, tools from KenTools.com. Uh, that's K-E-N-S Tools.com. And they come in various shapes and for various reasons uh, they're, they're used. Um, here's some, those are wire tools. These are some more uh, fine detail uh, items. This has uh, got two real small uh, metal loops or uh, wire loops. This has got a texturing end. This one's got a uh, kind of a four peg uh, or nail type uh, end on it uh, for texturing. It gives instructions with the uh, tool as to the use and uh, the best way to use it. Such as this tool, and I just took it out of the bag so I can show you better. This is a tool PT3 and it's uh, for poor texture number three. Uh, for best results for human skin texture, uh, place a piece of plastic wrap over an area to, uh, of sculpture to be textured. Press gently into the surface of the sculpture, moving the tool around until the desired effect is reached. Get some kind of desired effect here. And I'm just uh, going to move it around here like that. Now, I've never used this tool before, so I really don't know what it's going to look like. Yeah. Yeah, I can see how that could work. You could, What you could do is, say you got an uh, edge of an eye, and you want to have wrinkles coming out from that eye. You put that uh, tool on there, and it will do that. It's hard to see because it's it kind of... Let me see if I can get it more with the angle of the light. I'm probably not even using it right. Uh, this is something that I wish uh, I had the designer here, but you can see right there, it just gives little fine textures, which is really kind of cool. Let's see if it does it uh, without the plastic. No, I think I would use the plastic with that one. Anyway, I'm going to put that back in the bag. Anyway, these are Ken'sTools.com high quality sculpting tools and uh, makeup. FX Specialties. Uh, many people in the uh, movie business uh, buy their tools from Ken'sTools.com and they use them in uh, creating uh, the prosthetics and uh, the, the uh, figures that you see in a lot of uh, movies these days. And uh, he comes highly recommended. And that's why I went to Ken and, and got these right. tools. Zoom in on uh, Clay. And uh, what we got here is a tool that actually gives kind of real nice uh, texture to the clay. It smooths it out. It's easy to go back and smooth out the clay after you've uh, gone over it with this tool. Let me try another one of these. Here's a round tool. Now, like I said before, this is the first time I've used these, so it's I, I've got to uh, see and I'm kind of liking the way uh, this is working. What it does is it, it, it gives a nice surface that you can go back and more easily smooth out with your thumb afterwards because the end of the tool let me, the end of the tool is just it's wire that has kind of like a spring uh, wrapped around it uh, or the wire is through the spring. I'm not sure how these are constructed, but they're just dynamite ends on these tools. And I can see a lot of uses for all of this, uh, for smoothing and, and uh, texturing your clay. Okay, this tool here, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got uh, little nails, or looks like nails, on the end of it. And what you do is you, uh, it says, for best results for, uh, for human skin texture, place a piece of plastic wrap, and I'm just going to all right, what you do is you want to make a textured skin is you uh, move it around with a piece of plastic underneath it because uh, with the plastic it, it keeps the clay from being pushed around and then you just uh, poke it and, and move it around and when you take the plastic away you got kind of a texture of skin which is kind of cool. I can see how that could work with a, you know, like a life size or even a larger than life size.
it's it, these are not for heavy duty work. Uh, this is for uh, just really doing some finishing work, uh, smoothing out the clay, and going back and forth on the clay surface until you get it evened out and smoothed out, and then you can go back in with your finger and kind of uh, smooth it out even more. But as you can see, it has a, a selection of wire ends on this end and uh, on the other end as well. So there's many uses that you can find for these uh, wonderfully uh, created or, uh, tools here. Grab another set. Did that one. Oh, here we go. Now these are really tiny wires on the end of them. I'm, I think you can see it right there. And uh, you got different shapes on both ends. And these are for fine detail work uh, that you want to do for finishing up. These are called um, itty bitty tools here. But you can uh, just imagine what you can use these for. You can make I think you could probably make wrinkles in the uh, face if you were doing a life size or a monster or something like that. Great tools. Now these th these tools have kind of like a saw edge on them, and I don't know if you can see that in the video, but um, it gives you a real nice texturing ability with that, and it's good for uh, smoothing out and. Uh, taking down a surface and the, the little lines created by the uh, jagged edge of this uh, tool uh, shows you the shape of the clay and then you can you just turn it over and use the flat surface of it to go back in and take those those tool marks out and uh, smooth the clay even more. It's for... oh I like that. I, I like the, the wire wrap. It's kind of like a spring on the end of it and it is flexible so that it will go down into the uh, wrinkles of the clothing. As I've said before this is uh, the first time I've used these so I really have no experience with them but I'm just trying to show you some of the possible uses and I'm sure over time I will uh, uh, learn better on how to use these but boy I sure like that. Now these, I, I haven't got time to uh, take them down, but they're long wired tips that come out. And these are for making wrinkles and uh, that type of stuff in, in uh, the surface of a face or something like that. And he recommends that, uh, let me take it out of the uh, bag. Ken recommended that you sand these down to the length you want. You can actually uh, take them down to something like that or whatever you want. but. Uh, these are very sharp on the end, and if you put a piece of plastic underneath it, and see, I would probably take it down to about right there. Oops, let me get the camera. Now, Ken recommends that uh, you take this tool and you sand it down or, or grind it down to the, the length that you want. And also, you can link, uh, do it in the shape that you want as far as uh, how you have the... Uh, Short, you can have the shortest here and then the longest up here, sort of in, in kind of a fan type mode. And then you put a piece of plastic over the clay and again, the uh, strength of these uh, wires will, will help you uh, create wrinkles. I don't have time to do that here and my grinder is back at my studio, but uh, at some point I will grind these down. This one here has uh, six rakes on it. And this one here, let me get this out. This one here has three rakes on it. So I'm sure I'll find some use for this at some point when I'm working on a monumental piece, which I I have a, one or two that are up in the uh, coming uh, days or months that I may be doing. So I'm going to find a real good use for these tools. So would I recommend these tools? Absolutely. And what I'm going to do to keep all these tools in, in uh, good order is I went to uh, the hardware store 
and bought myself a uh, plastic case that I can put the tools in. Now I got these dividers, but I don't know if I'm going to use them. I'm just going to put the big wire tools over here and uh, these in there. But uh, these are from Ken's Tools. Dot com but these are from kenstools.com and well worth uh, the expenditure of money to get them I'm going to put uh, these long tools now I can't get them in there until I grind them the uh, wires down to the size I want and so I'll put these aside in their envelope and uh, do that when I get to my studio next time so again we'll go to Ken, kenstools.com and uh, Ask for a catalog and just order some uh, tools that you feel like you, you can use. Now here's a recommendation that was uh, made by a gentleman in the movie business. He says, uh, I started using Ken's tools at work, in other words on the movie uh, production line, and I like them so much I now have a set at home. Everyone should have a set of these uh, Ken's tools. They're the best. Worked on uh, Seed of Chucky, Second Hand Lions and Stuck on You. And I can't recommend these more highly.